hey what's up everybody welcome back to one more vendor reset video so today is the friday november the 23rd and let's get into this we're gonna look through some gear mods and weapons that i'm gonna recommend for you guys let's go all right to start things off our first stop is gonna be here on the base of operation terminal special equipment vendor I usually do not recommend this but today I'm gonna recommend this light liberator um, the reason why because it has responsive and destructive already and you can rule on the third slot for anything else like for example ferocious that way you have a PVE uh, weapon uh, if you don't have an M4 if you guys don't know the liberator is a variant of the M4 um, the recoil on it is a lot stronger, so you're gonna be all over the place with this gun if you don't have a good control of the recoil. But still, this is an M4. Use this for your PVE builds. Still, in the base of operation, when you come to the Darzone vendor inside the base of operation, he's gonna be selling these prototype stamina mods. If you need the prototype stamina mods with some health on it, this one is great it has a high stamina with a high uh, health uh, number uh, this one is going to be 265 stamina with 3157 health if you need some to get your build a lot more toughness this one is perfect in the same vendor uh, there is going to be something that i usually don't recommend but i actually <laughs> use a lot um, I use this on my builds because uh, I like to have my reload speed fast so I can keep on shooting. Um, so from now I'm going to start recommending this uh, because you guys want to know exactly what I use. So this is exactly what I use. It has 30% reload speed, 4% crit quit damage and 5% optimal range. Um, I use this. It doesn't give you much damage but at the same time you're going to be um in the fight a lot more because you're reloading faster so you are able to shoot faster that's why i like to use them the next stop is going to be in the safe house called the cavern uh, this one we're going to come here and grab these um prototype performance mod with five percent ballistic shield damage resilience these are the best mods that you can get for your ballistic shield um, for that defense build if you love it so much um, I recommend this a lot more than the ones with the damage uh, damage resilience I think is bad so grab five of these actually four of these and you will go perfect with your build if you come down to camp Clinton safe house uh, this is a special equipment vendor he's gonna be selling some mods which is gonna be this uh, Omega Rifle Suppressor. It has 17% headshot damage, 4% critical hit damage, and 3% critical hit chance. Um, these are perfect for a sniper build or even for an um, AR build if you are good hitting some headshots. Uh, these do a lot more damage than critical hit damage, which is what I use on my builds on my solo legendaries. I use headshot damage the most. So if you need some, uh, these are here. If you are on console, I would say just use critical hit damage instead. Another thing before we go, this uh, we have this high velocity magazine. It has 7% critical hit chance, 4% critical hit damage, and 4.9 rate of fire. There is some um, builds or weapons that actually take advantage of this type of uh, magazine instead of the magazine size so if you need some magazine uh, with a critical hit chance uh, these ones are in here on cam clinton so the next stop we're gonna go to dentist run safe house and this one i'm gonna consider the to be the buy of the week i highly recommend for you guys if you guys don't have uh, buy these mods they are four percent damage to elite with 188 electronics uh, the electronics is not too high 
um, but it's not too low either but the damage to lead 4% is really really hard to find across so I, I would highly recommend you to get some of these get five of these and have them on your inventory if you need them um, like I said they are rare to find and I will always recommend if you can find 4% just grab them right away this is max damage to lead mods that you can get at the medicine stand safe house the gear vendor he's gonna be selling some mods and this mod is gonna be prototype electronics mods it has 264 electronics with 3208 health um, these are really high numbers if you need some electronic mods with some health on it these ones are perfect because they have such a high uh, number on both electronics and health if you need these, they are on the medicine stand, safe house. As we moving on to the dark zone, uh, right now I'm inside dark zone three on the safe house inside dark zone three, and this dark zone weapon vendor he's gonna be selling some lightweight M4. Um, actually, I just found this, and it has um, dominant, brutal, and unforgiven. Um, these two bottom talents are not too bad. Unforgiven is always good. PvP and PvE. Brutal is really good on PvE. And Dominant, I would just switch that for... If you're using this on PvE, I would switch that for the uh, Destructive. That way you have a good weapon for PvE. If you're playing for PvP, I would put their um, Responsive to get maximum damage against PvP. But nonetheless, nonetheless uh, this is a, a decent lightweight M4 inside that zone 3 safe house. Um, probably the only lightweight M4 I came across for this week. So if you need a lightweight M4 other than the Liberator, this one is good. Just come inside that zone and grab it. And that was it guys. That was the vendor reset for this week. We didn't have much. Uh, we had a good uh, weapon mod for uh, an assault rifle or a sniper, which has a lot of headshot damage. We had that um, lightweight M4 that you can grab inside the Dark Zone 3. And most important, we have that um, damage to elite mods that you can grab uh, 4%. So I definitely recommend that. Don't miss on that. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. If you enjoy, hit that like. It actually helps me a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.